The Brits, the place to be. Radio living is the life for me. Airwaves spreading out so far and wide. Keep your FM, just give me that internet side. Online is where I'd rather stay. I've got a lot of music to play. I just adore a Yankee view. Darling, I love you, but give me a show to do. The chap. The brats. On air. That's fair. You are my wife. Goodbye, British life. The Yankee and the Brit on air. Good evening, Peter Miles. Hello, Donna. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. What about you? Not doing bad at all over here. We have my wonderful husband over here. Peter Miles is on the phone, guys and girls. Hello, Mike. We have just been listening to some of your <laughs> tunes. The last one, the the last one, the is it Johnny Cash? Yeah, Jackson. June, yeah, the yeah. Jackson, the Jackson and tune. June Carter. Yeah, certainly got us all yeah. like, moving over here. <laughs> Are you in Quebec? Uh, yes. You know Quebec? Hey, been there a time or two myself. Yeah. Did you enjoy it, please? Yeah. Oh, I love Canada. It's absolutely gorgeous up there. Yeah. There's a lot of snow though. <laughs> well, I didn't say I came there a lot. <laughs> I, I just hope you, you came down, well, you came up, I mean, uh, during the uh, the summertime the, the, or spring or something like that, because during the winter, if you don't like skiing, you're dead. I mean, uh, it's cold, it's uh, frisky, and uh, it's, you, you, or else you like hockey and skate. If you like skating, you'll enjoy the place, and, and if you enjoy skiing, too. I was up there in the summertime, yes, uh, been to Toronto, been over, uh, went up to the Molson Beer Plant, uh, where the hell was that one at? Wow. Been up to Kitchener, wow. been quite around, quite a few different places up there, I love that it. it's beautiful. Mm, it is, there's lots of things to, uh, to to see around, but the thing is, is that uh, uh, during winter it's a little bit more complicated, but uh, it's something very nice and neat to look and to live because um, for the people that live south, uh, they don't have as much snow as we do. And uh, I heard that there's a lot of uh, uh, Hollywood stars that comes up uh, for during well during holidays and stuff just to enjoy being in real snow for about a, a month or let's say I guess a few a few weeks at least. That's for they sure. They must be off their rockers. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> they must be barking mad all that snow oh my gosh no way yeah <laughs> were you born and raised up there well yeah i was born in montreal uh in an hospital by the way uh, <laughs> uh and uh i i was born and raised on the south shore there's a little town called greenfield park on the it's a little suburb town just uh about like uh, not even 10 minutes driving from uh uh, downtown Montreal, you just cross the bridge, and uh, uh, so I've been around a lot uh, in Montreal. But living on the South Shore brings you something different, and uh, you, you get you get surrounded by many uh, other influences, and and it's great too because uh, it, it's a it's a different life. Uh, but I think it's the same the same thing everywhere. If you live in a big town and you go uh, out of bound of it, uh, you. you the life is different, and and it, for the people who have kids, I think it's it's better. But the, for the people that love the uh, nightlife and stuff, uh, Montreal is the place for the, for sure because you you have so many things to do at night. Uh, there's not a day that you cannot go out and have fun and and party. And uh, we got so many museums and stuff like that that you don't have time uh, a waste of time uh, during that the time you stay uh, at home. Tassad's Wax Museum. Uh, we also Tussauds. have one. Is it Tussauds? Yeah, we have the one uh, from France there, the, the Wax Museum from France. Um, how do you call it? Um, Madame Dussault, something like that. I don't, Ma- I don't know Tussauds. if this is the one. Is that it? Yeah. I think so. I've been there uh, with uh, my daughter, uh, but uh, it's been a while. I think it's been uh, like uh, three years ago. 
I, I don't even know if it's still open, but I guess so. It should be open. But this is a nice place to go visit because it's really downtown Montreal and St. Catherine, and uh, it's in an old building, uh, the old Labbe, uh building, which is about uh, 10 to 11 uh, floors of the uh, shopping mall and stuff like that. The, if you go there with your wife, buddy, don't. Don't ever. <laughs> it will cost you too much. Oh, I like it when he spends all his money on me. <laughs> hey, I was, I'm looking at... Uh, uh, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do, Donna. <laughs> I, I, I don't really. I'm quite a tight one myself. But I don't mind it when he spends it. <laughs> <laughs> and I spend plenty of it, too. I was looking at your picture here on your discography on uh, on your Peter Miles page. Yeah. I, I'm looking at the picture of you in the black vest and no shirt and... I hate to say it, or You're maybe, naked. or maybe it's a compliment, but you look like Jethro from the Hib- Beverly Hillbillies. Well, I heard about that a few times. There's a a, a guy from a, a journal in uh, Nashville. Uh, I gotta remember his name. He's really kind. Uh, he told me about the same thing as you just did, and I'm surprised. <laughs> I don't even know who Jethro is. So <laughs> imagine. Uh, you're the second one uh, within not even a few months that tells me the same thing. It's just that one picture. I, but you can see it. In, I, it's it's the hair and the and the. Uh, well, you just have to look at I look did. up Jethro on YouTube and watch it. Yeah, I did send a comparison uh, picture to uh, to Pierre. If you ask him, uh, ask yes, him you did. Picture <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> He sent it to me. It really, he really looks like uh, like I do. And, and there's other people. You know what? That's kind of funny, though. Uh, some people have sent me pictures of Rodney Carrington saying that I was looking like him, the one especially in studio. So I was like, oh, my God. The one in studio when he sings, uh, my girlfriend is like a chicken or whatever there. I like my chicken like my... My girlfriend liked my chicken. I don't know the song, but I heard it, and it was very cool. And uh, you know Ronnie Carrington, I hope? Sure, of course. He's a a funny buddy, man. I I really enjoy uh, listening to what he's doing. And uh, (laughs) I was watching it, and I was like, my God, seriously, when I look at him in the studio, he's in the radio station, I was like, he really looks alike. My God, do I have a Sozy or something, a, a twin uh, or something <laughs> like that? So uh, I was kind of impressed, and, I, and that's how I discovered Rodney, especially with the one with uh, the song he's singing. Uh, I love my uh, my wife I, like I love my chicken, and as well as uh, the other one there, uh, show them to me. Hey, this is my song. Yeah, the one. <laughs> This is awesome. I mean, <laughs> if you love your country, buddy, you got to show them to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it. Is there a delay? Because it's like there's a, a missing a missing moment I have on the phone. So I, I hope everything's perfect on your side because here it's like a delay. I have a like a, a little stretch that I don't hear anything. Oh, it there, sounds good there is a, No, there is a delay. I noticed when we first got talking. Yeah, but it's not. I right. realised we were talking over each other and it was because there was a delay. But um, you just talk whenever you hear us and we'll just we'll just wait 10 minutes for your reply. It's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, well, okay. I'll send you an email by, the, by that time. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in music? Well, I guess time can pass is, it passes by uh, very quickly. So it's been 20 years uh, that uh, I've been doing this and I enjoy it. I love it. Well, I mean, 20 years doing it ser- professionally, but I used to play the guitar and sing a lot uh, in my teenage my teenage years. Uh, I won many contests at school. Uh, we were at, at first when we really started. It was lip sync. Uh, lip sync. Uh, I mean, not lip sync, as if it smelled like. Uh, <laughs> I was doing lip sync, uh, but you know, wow. Well, it's like when I really started, I was really impressed by music back then, back then and I really enjoyed doing it. But the thing is, at school, they had no amplifiers and stuff like that. So we, we just enjoyed once a few guys, uh, we, we gathered and we started doing something. It was a Beatles show we started with. Uh, I know you might love it, Donna, because you're from uh, the UK. So uh, we really enjoyed the Beatles, and we did that show, and we really stuck on it, and we re- really enjoyed it. So that's probably where it really started. Uh, and, and and the other guys, they, some of them just stopped, but I did it. So uh, they, I even like uh, once in a while we get along together, and they they still asking me, how come you just like went forward with that? I mean, we all stopped, not you. I mean, you're, you they they really think I'm dumb. 
but I, I think I am, so I'm okay. <laughs> Anybody else in your family musically inclined, or are you the first one? Well, my mom used to sing a lot back then. Uh, she made a lot of contests, and, uh, uh, you know, when you, you're a kid and she uh, she tries to put you to bed, well, uh, sometimes to calm down, uh, beast like I am, uh, <laughs> she had to sing a few songs, so a few songs it was never enough, so she had to sing a lot, and a few times she uh, she got to rest before we did, so... Um, uh, it was kind of funny because we were singing while she was sleeping beside us, and uh, we really enjoyed. My dad was uh, like, "My God, what did you do to your mom?" Well, mom was singing. I don't know. She fell asleep. So, no, my mom was a really good singer. She really enjoyed uh, doing it, and she really gave it. She really gave the passion uh, to us. But I, I was the one that was old. You know, I don't know. There's always a, a little devil in the in the family. I guess I am. I'm always holding on something that. Uh, some others don't, and music was the thing I just stuck on, and I really enjoyed. Seriously, uh, my mom was the one that really gave me the passion. She was listening to Johnny Cash, so imagine uh, back then. I didn't know even I didn't even know what Johnny Cash was back then. So uh, I really knew it when I got like thirteen, fourteen. She she was singing songs from from him, and I really enjoyed. You uh, write your own songs? Yes. It's uh, all my uh, my lyrics and my melodies and stuff like that. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. what I, I think it, it's best. Uh, I love something that is rhythmic, that has energy, and uh, uh, I love lyrics that mean something, uh, that, that has a story. Once in a while, it's fun to say blah, 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 but it's always fun to say things into a song because I think it, it uh, reaches... Uh, People's are easier, and, and and it stays there. At least uh, it makes them think, it makes them feel things, and uh, live through it. So um, no, uh, I really like to write and to compose at the same time. So uh, I mostly do that in my shower. I don't know if you do that at home with Donna, but I'm doing it we with my songs in the shower with the... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is that I really. No, I really believe I'm a rock star in my bathroom. Uh, let me tell you, I get into it, I'm naked, and I think I hold the mic. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> the, the worst, the worst part, the worst part of it is that I'm not enough flexible to reach the mic, so I have to sing louder. So you know. Don't you sing into the shower head while the water's coming down in your face? <laughs> I just, I, I just hope uh, I'm not like. Uh, hurting anyone's feeling at home over there uh, with my, uh, killing my us, weird killing language us. there. Please. Okay, uh, You're if, not even close. I'm talking badly. Well, if it's too much, just let me know before I uh, I uh, get some phone calls saying, hey, you're going to die today. <laughs> not, not yet, you know. <laughs> not, even close to our, not even close to our level yet. Do you get soggy paper when you write your songs in the shower? <laughs> Well, and next time I'm going to have to film myself into it, singing loud, but you won't ever see the microphone. Okay, now people in the sure. chat room say they want to kill you tonight now. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> well, he said he was going to film himself naked. <laughs> I had to save the chat room. I see. <laughs> do you play in the United States? Yes, I did. I played in Florida. I played in New York. Uh, I uh, also... Um, I, I did a lot in uh, in Florida. I did some uh, some bars in uh, Vermont, and um, I went mostly in Europe. I went a bit uh, out west Canada, but Europe was a big shot for me. I don't know uh, what happened there, but it really worked well. Uh, I sang a, a few places with. Uh, I just want to say I don't know. I think I'm beginning. Uh, uh, I'm beginning having the uh, Alzheimer uh, uh, sickness there. I'm losing my mind sometimes. I don't remember what I was going to say. It's uh, Patsy Loveless. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's what I was going to tell you. Uh, I sang with Patsy Loveless in uh, Lion uh, in France. Uh, we uh, were on Saturday night uh, uh, head uh, head shows, and uh, we really I really enjoyed singing uh, beside that. Uh, legend uh she's a an awesome person she's very sweet and she has been uh, very neat for a kid like i am so uh she uh she, she gave us opportunities to uh 
to be in her uh, dressing room with uh, the musicians and stuff. So uh, we were like excited, you know, when you when you see a legend like that and, and you you can hang around. I mean, uh, uh, it's priceless. So uh, I had the, the opportunity at the same time to. Uh, to take pictures, which I won't show it to anybody. Yeah. Uh, which yeah, were, well, I mean, uh, they were in so the shower. Special. I was in the shower and she took the picture of me, and uh, I stopped singing that moment. So I was like shocked. I mean, I mean, what, what is it? I mean, Patty Love is in the, my showers. No, 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 no. I won't show it to anybody. Not even the website. So. Uh, no, seriously, uh, she's a really kind uh, lady, and uh, we enjoyed it. But France, uh, Paris uh, was great. We went to Germany, uh, Netherlands, uh, Belgium. So uh, it's great. Uh, the last one we did, it was uh, in Barcelona in Spain. Uh, country music is very, uh, very strong over there. It's cool that people like it. They love to dance. Uh, they like when you rock and you swing. So uh, the Catalans... Uh, they, it's different. The Catalan, the line dances, uh, I learned it there. It's totally different than the normal and regular uh, country dancing. So uh, if you have a song that swings, they, they go nuts about it. So uh, I guess that my music really uh, made them go nuts because they were dancing like animals. So uh, I was kind of proud and happy. And uh, when the people, uh, they were coming to uh, um, the promo table uh, and they were like... Uh, going nuts around me and saying, ah, we love you. It was like, a, wow, I did my job very well. So I was very proud. So that's that's about it. I mean, Europe was great. If you guys have a chance or if, you, well, Donna has been living there for a long time. But uh, I guess that um, uh, some people, they don't think that uh, uh, otherwise uh, other countries love uh, country music, but they do in, uh, in Europe, and uh, they really, that's for it. When you go to these foreign countries and sing, uh, how do they understand the words you know the english words or do they just get into the music well that's a good question because uh i have myself uh, the same one once and i guess that there's a lot of uh, people over there that uh, speaks english i mean uh spanish people they know english I, it's an international language so uh, they get used to it and in fact the thing is that they uh they they are really in love with the country music so the thing is that they get to know, at least they get to learn the language enough to understand the, the, the lyrics because uh, some of them told me that they need to know what you write into a song so they can... Uh, Translate. I don't know why they need to know the lyrics for creating a dance, but that's what some people told me. I was like a, a little bit shocked about it. I mean, how come you need the words for that? I mean, just listen to the rhythm and and swing yourself go oh no, people need, are probably uh, like us like, they're probably sing. a lot like us they like to sing along you know and i've i've noticed a lot of foreigners they know the english words to songs but they couldn't speak the language if they tried so do your words uh, come out in a different order you know uh, for mm -hmm. example uh, like turkish people for example when you talk to them in english you know they translate it into their language and, it, and the words are actually in a different order so I guess what I'm mm -hmm. trying to say is when you tell someone your lyrics, do they come out in a different order? Well, um, what I do uh, these days is uh, on my new clip, uh, well, a few of them, I'm trying to put the lyrics on it. So they, they look at the image, they listen to the sound, they listen to the music, and at the same time they can read the, 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 the words. So at least they, they, if they don't really know what it means, they can press pause, and then they check it out on, uh, I don't know, a translator on uh, Google or something like that. But uh, the, 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 that fact that you are talking to me, I really found it weird when I went to China. Because over there, most of the people, they don't know a single word of English. And, and even you, you are a very, very, very foreigner for them. So uh, you, you go over there, and if you don't know a word of Mandarin, you're dead because some of them don't even speak uh, more than just what they know, their, their own language. So uh, over there, they listen to the entire song because most of them, they don't know what it means. They don't really uh, understand the meaning of each word. Uh, so they, they enjoy the entire uh, song. Um, that's probably the place um, I really... Uh, 
found that they, but honestly, even if I, I found it like it's kind of awkward of trying to sing something in English to someone that doesn't understand, uh, I really enjoy it because they enjoy what you're, what you're doing. When, when you do it, they, they go nuts about it because they don't have it at home. And, and they like something emotional. They like something that uh, swings and, and makes them feel a little different than what they do have at home. So, uh, it, it was the, the nicest thing I've ever, uh, discovered uh, into my entire career yet it sounds pretty crazy i mean that's that sounds stressful i guess maybe in a way but i guess if you just get on stage and just do your thing the end result is what it is well right? on stage there's no problem uh it, it's it's kind of weird there but to say that but on stage there's no problem you just do what you have to do like you normally do and, and but in when it's out outside of the stage when you go out downtown or like shanghai it's totally different. I mean, uh, I used to carry my phone and try to uh, to speak most of the time on my phone to translate because Google has the uh, the function of uh, translating. But the thing is, is you, you keep on pressing the button and saying, hey, Google, say that in Mandarin. And, and, and in fact, uh, it's a weird human approach. I mean, I, I would rather love to speak the, uh, the national language, which is Mandarin. I know that Cantonese is uh, a, a lot... Uh, spoken over there, but uh, Mandarin is uh, the national language, and uh, I would have liked to do it otherwise, but the thing is, I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> Ni hao and uh, che che, that's about it. I mean, uh, uh, bon, uh, like, good morning and uh, thank you, but uh, otherwise on stage, it's perfect. I mean, the crowd is crazy. The people, they love it. They, they go not, They go really nuts about what you're doing because it swings a lot, so I was kind of granted uh, to uh, to have this uh, opportunity. Do you get nervous being on stage? If I get nervous, I mean, you always want to please, uh, you always want your crowd to be happy, and uh, yes, you're a little bit nervous like anything else. I mean, if I'm not, there's a problem, but if I'm, it's like being too confident. I mean, being too confident sometimes uh, uh, gives you a disappointment. Uh, I like to be a little nervous uh, just to give me the... Uh, the energy to uh, to excite my uh, my fans and have fun with them, uh, but not too much because uh, if if you're too nervous, I mean it, it drives you to another uh, another way of what you expected to do. And nah. but yes, I do a little. Do you go out there with a band? Yeah, I was going to ask. It's I take it you have your I take it you have your own band now that you've been doing this professionally for all these years. Yeah, I have my own brand, my my, my own members. Uh, that uh, follows me, but once in a while, uh, I have to change or depend. It, it always depends the request. Sometimes I go to other countries, and uh, uh, if my band uh, can follow, I, I like it more than anything else. But if I don't, there's always another emergency uh, uh, situation or plan that we can, uh, 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 well, say, try to, to go around. And so uh, uh, over there, uh, once in a while, I have a few uh, musicians uh, that I know in France uh, that can, uh, let's say, uh, my guitar player cannot follow. Well, uh, I can give a call to a few uh, European uh, musicians that knows uh, my, uh, my set list and they can play uh, everything I do. So uh, I'm like uh, lucky to have that opportunity. But uh, Besides that, my band follows me most of the time. Stacy Joe in the chat, she just said, uh, look at them like they're all naked while you're on stage, and it won't make any difference because you'll be too busy laughing at them. <laughs> it's an idea. <laughs> hey, uh, Keith Sampson yeah. in the chat room says that he would pay you $45,000 for that naked picture in the shower. <laughs> Wow, you would pay forty five thousand dollars for that picture instead of having me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I. Do you believe that? Do you think he would be? Uh, he would have the guts to do that instead. Oh, well, he asked yeah. me to go there and play music for him instead. And if I'm too drunk enough for that, maybe he'll have the chance to take the picture <laughs> by himself. Oh yeah, <laughs> right that's now, an idea. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'd take forty-five dollars for a picture of mine. <laughs> you always have low standards. <laughs> forty-five cents. Forty-five cents for forty-five inches. I guess it's not enough for you, huh? <laughs> oh, Keith wanted Patty Loveless in the shower, not you. You're sorry to disappoint you. 
<laughs> well, hey. well the, the thing is, the microphone shrinks in the shower, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it, becomes, it becomes a headset uh, kit there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess the conversation is turning weird now. We're not yeah. talking music, really. Shrinking, eh? actually. The conversation is <laughs> shrinking. <laughs> I, I guess your fan lo- loves it because they're chatting right now. So uh, w- w- I just let them know that we'll do a half and a half kind of music thing there, that, uh, and, and we'll put some horny stuff in it so they might enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this bunch would. Well, well, Keith, I'm sorry, we're going to have to go with your first answer. You just said you wanted a picture of him in the shower for $45,000, so you're not getting Patty Loveless. Sold. <laughs> Sold. Ooh. Sold to the man with the egghead. <laughs> he shaved all his hair off, so we keep calling him egghead. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, he thinks it makes his guitar sound better. Less static. But, well, I guess it does. It does. It really does. It makes you, it, it puts you right in the mood. <laughs> Keith said, keep talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. So, uh, what is your plans for the next few years? Do you know, do you have any more plans to travel with your music? Any CDs? Uh, uh, well... I have CDs available uh, in stores here, um, but uh, the people around the world, uh, if I go there, I bring some, and if I don't, most of them, they either they, uh, they order it, and I uh, send them with an autograph on it, or else uh, they can buy it on MP3s, uh, because that's the new fashion these days. They get on my website, and they can order it over there. They can buy it song by song, or either the album, the entire album. And uh, for my uh, future plans, I mean, uh, I, since I really enjoyed China, so uh, we're working a lot for China, and uh, I'd love to be in Japan because uh, I love sushi. Nah, it's a joke. I'm not going there just for sushi, but I enjoy sushi. Yes, you and, are. Uh, but I, I, uh, I know, but uh, I, I love China a lot. I, I really enjoyed my trip over there. Uh, the people were nice. And I love doing music over there because it's totally different. You're really in another world. But uh, honestly, uh, what I'm really aiming for right now uh, is to keep on doing the best I can to please the people that follows me. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll come down to Texas one day and uh, play uh, for you guys over yeah. there, uh, yeah. which I would really love. It will be well. It will be part of my plans to for seriously because. Uh, uh, well, Texas is Texas. I mean, God bless Texas. What else? What, what right. else can I say? I mean, there's <laughs> but, nothing else. But don't worry, uh, if, we won't tell you, Samson. Moved, yeah, well, if you move from UK to go there, I mean, because it's probably because all the guns are there, eh? Because you have a husband. <laughs> 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 He's the God now. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> He's the one that... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Cut to uh, around I came here. for the American dick. <laughs> <laughs> but he's your god, Donna. Don't forget that. He's your god. I'm bowing right to him now. You. Bow down. I'm now. kissing his toes right now. She's bowing down so she can reach that microphone. <laughs> well, that one's shrunk as well. <laughs> well, sing me a song in the microphone. Friends in low places instead. Listen, listen, listen to this. Testing, testing. <laughs> oh, you can't hear that over the phone. But I'm whacking his microphone, <laughs> seeing if there's anything there. I've got my wife in low places. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wildest in- interview I've ever had uh, since a long time. I mean, woohoo, we're going deep now. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> While her mouth's so wide, she's making faces. <laughs> <laughs> she said she wished. She wished. So you got to take your chance before she uh, she unsays what she just said. Well, you have you have to understand. I am like the genie in the bottle, and I am making her wishes come true. <laughs> you will have to take a picture of that too. <laughs> that oh is my- that is worth sixty thousand. <laughs> All these photos flying around tonight. You're making me blush. <laughs> Can you imagine? We can make money not making music, just taking pictures of us. Taking pictures of Randy's microphone? (laughs) Yeah, microphone, imagine. (laughs) Just with mics, that's it. (laughs) 
I actually, I actually sung a song about his microphone shrinking, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. It's for spy. It's a spy microphone. It's for the spies. <laughs> it's wireless too. It's a, well, you can travel with it, and no need to plug. You're you're okay. <laughs> That was it. I mean, uh, it's, if the people uh, want to uh, know uh, a little bit more of who I am, if they want to follow me, they can get on my website, which is uh, www.petermiles.net. They can uh, uh, join my uh, my fan base there. It's free. Uh, they can as well go on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, all the uh, network thing there that... Uh, is uh, actual for these days, and uh, I'm always available. I can chat with them as well if, if I'm free, uh, hopefully. And um, honestly, thanks a lot, Don. I mean, uh, I've never had a, a cool and fun, and even uh, uh, your husband. I mean, uh, thanks a lot. You, you've been very neat to me, uh, <laughs> inviting me to your show. I mean, uh, it's the wildest uh uh, interview like I told you I've ever had, and uh, it's the wild, the wild, wild, wildest uh, radio station. Very cool to uh, to be part of it. I mean, thanks a lot. Oh, thank you, thank you very we much. We do try and behave. We really do. We're just not bloody good at it. <laughs> but the, the <laughs> artist that comes on always turns it dirty. <laughs> well, the thing is, it, it started with a picture and with the shower and stuff like that. And it's not usual to sing in your shower like oh, I do. Don't, don't start that again. You're actually... making Randy all moist. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, it's kind of weird, though. Try it for, for just for fun, and, and, and you'll see. Invite your friends, your neighbors, and stuff, and to watch you sing in the shower. <laughs> it's a it's a funny thing to do. I want to watch you sing into that mic. Have, <laughs> well, you you will make sure that they will love country music forever after. They will when I get done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got ten questions to ask you before we let you go. No, I'm, I'm ready. Go. Oh, also, I wanted to say. Uh, Boy, it sure would be nice to have one of those autographed uh, CDs to put on our wall of shame Depends over Depends what the cover photo is. <laughs> uh, well, it's going to be the one, the one you know where it will be taken from. Oh, my. Uh, we, don't, we can't say the word. We can't say the word. But I, I'll try to, to, to put an autograph on it, but the thing is going to be written P.M. on it. <laughs> well, you will have to rub the picture to have the full name on it. Oh, my gosh. That'll make that microphone stand up. <laughs> I will send you one for sure. Just let me know uh, where to send it. And it will cool. make me uh, awesome. a great pleasure to send you a, a CD. I hope you enjoy it. Let's say I will send you a few others, and you will, uh, if you want to make the like a... Uh, a, a swift state for your uh, fans over there and like saying number five who calls you in the album I'll send you a few I could throw I'm not giving anybody a good swift state I could throw darts at it couldn't I <laughs> <laughs> I suppose dear <laughs> whatever makes the bloody bread happy hey one quick question yep what advice do you give to your future self you know like when you're rich and famous and good looking what advice do you give to your future self Oh, that's a that's a good one. I mean, uh, if I become uh, rich and famous, I mean, uh, I don't really think I want to become rich and famous. I just want to be uh, happy and try to do something great for uh, my little life there. But if I do, I hope I will stay where I am as much as I can, and I will give. Uh, I will have the chance to give others uh, a little of what I had, and if it does make them happy, I'll be happy for the rest. Hey, we only live once. I mean, even if you have a lot of money, it doesn't make you uh, a better person. It only makes you richer. That's it. That's and right. a good person doesn't have to... No, I mean, that's my point of view. I mean, it doesn't make you a better person because you have more money. No. It helps. It helps because you can buy things, but you can't buy me to love. You know that song? <laughs> sure, of course. Who, do, who doesn't know the Rolling Stones? Everybody tells me so. Can buy me love. Oh, no, can't no, buy no, me no. <laughs> Everybody tells me so. You can't buy yeah, me well, love. 
No! <laughs> Say you don't need no diamond rings, please. And I'll be satisfied. I'll be satisfied. Give me yeah, that microphone sure, and it? I'll be satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a, you see, that's the real thing. If you keep on thinking like a real good person, you will deserve what you just request. <laughs> Sim Salabim. So, so that's about it. What? <laughs> Sim Salabim. I'm sorry, there's a delay over here, and it's kind of awkward. I'm listening to you, and sometimes I'm I'm hearing like uh, three quarters of, of the rest of the sentence you just said. So I'm, I have to uh, like to uh, improvise about the beginning. So I hope it makes sense sometimes. Uh, what, what I'll do sorry. is um, tomorrow I will um, download it and I'll chop it up and get rid of all the big gaps and I'll neaten it up and then I'll whack it on the YouTube. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, you're there. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it stopped. I don't know what happened. I mean, uh, the spirits, I guess. Um, <laughs> Well, that's like, like a, yeah, well, if, if you have the interview, send it to me. I'll put it on my website, and people will be able to uh, to uh, listen to it in uh, in a buckle there and listen to part of the, the picture naked in the shower. Well, um, and by the way, uh, for the, the, the answer of what I told you, if I become rich, I will tell myself to, to try to stay uh, uh, the best human being as, a, as I can, and that's about it. I'm not asking too much of life. I'm trying to take what I can, and if I can... Um, Sure, I'm doing it the well the best I can. You know, you start by yourself. If you have a little bit more, you give more if you can. But about the rest, that's not. I'm not asking much more than that. Um, life gives me a lot just by uh, making music and having opportunities to to chat with people like you guys. Or the, having fun. It's not. You'll never everybody forget that has the, uh, Well, many people would like to do that, and, and that's <laughs> a big chance that I do have, and and many other artists uh, as well. So I guess we're uh, fortunate uh, a lot just to have the uh, the chance to do what we do, uh, and, and if we can share it with others, I guess that's the best. Don't, yeah. don't think I'm getting too deep in it. There, yeah. may, may I have a may I have a bone, please? <laughs> <laughs> Not until you get in the shower. Please give a dog a bone. I like the bone I, in the I shower. Think I figured out. <laughs> if you could write a song about the Yankee and the Brit, what would you call it? Or oh, it, it would probably be a horny song. I don't know why, but I guess it would be a horny song. It would be something I don't know. It would probably be uh, the the first the first time I spoke with them. I felt like uh, something special happened. I, I <laughs> discovered in myself into. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like going back in the shower as soon as I heard their voices. Uh, something like that. I don't know. Something that goes around that and, and that stimulates uh, the interest of, uh, of the conversation we're having now, which is uh, very fantastic. I guess the, I hope the fans at home, they enjoy it because uh, we're talking a lot about music. We're talking even about instruments. And uh, that's the best part of the uh of the interview right now. We're talking about microphones and uh, fans and stuff like that. And we're even talking about animals, so what else do we want to talk about? Bones? We just did. Hey, Randy always asks, and he's forgot all... His I did not. You haven't shut up long enough. Go on and ask him your famous question. <laughs> what do you drive? <laughs> what do I drive? Yes. What do you think... I should drive. I'm a cowboy, man. I'm an urban cowboy. But I'm still, even if I'm in Montreal, I'm still a cowboy in my heart. And even with, uh, on my head, I am a cowboy hat. I mean, what do you think I have? Just for fun. You should be, I don't, know, I don't know what you have, but you should be driving a Ford four-wheel drive. Maybe he rides, maybe he drives a sheep. <laughs> a sheep? A sheep. A cow. I like big things. Oh, I'm sorry. Not a sheep. A cow. Give me something. I need some milk. <laughs> so, you, so you've got a Cadillac. Uh, You're so no, I don't, I, nah. A Cadillac. You better have no, a I'm actual. I mean, a Cadillac. What do you want me to do with a Cadillac? There's a, a Cadillac. I don't know what I would do with that. A Cadillac. A Cadillac. That, I would have, <laughs> that would be fantastic. Well, the thing is, right now... What I do drive is a, a, a mini Austin. Oh, come on. <laughs> gotcha. I guess. You'd lose, that, you'd lose that in a snow drift. Well, what do you want me to do with a mini Austin? I can't even get in. You know, I, I'm i I'm almost six feet and I'm 225 pounds. What do you want me to do with that? I'm taking both seats, so <laughs> there's no other room for anybody else. Uh, how about a mini Cooper? 
Nah, 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 nah. I told you, I'm a real, cow- I'm a real cowboy. I'm not getting into small cars like that. Me and my guitar, and nobody else. You better have some I sort have of what you just drive said for you. A Ford. I have a Ford F one fifty with mags on it, and I really enjoy it, my friend. It's black, and I have the the cover in the back. You rock. This, this is my baby. You rock. Oh. Yay! Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, a boys cow- won. Yeah, one cow- zero. A cowboy with class. Ten I, thought, I thought I was driving a lawnmower. <laughs> a what? A lawnmower. What? No. Well, I do that once in a while, oh. but I'm not driving that. <laughs> but I'm happy with my pickup, that's for sure. The next time I think it will Stacey. be something about the pickup, for sure. But it will be fun, though. Okay, time for your ten questions. Yeah, yeah. Yes, have your ten Go. boring questions. What is your favorite word? Hmm, my favorite word is um, probably, probably I love you. I love you guys. What is your least favorite <laughs> word? My least favorite word, uh, my least, my least favorite word. I mean, uh, uh, wow, what a question. I mean, uh, I hate you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, what do you want to do? What turns you on? Do we really want to know the answer mm. to this one? <laughs> Singing in a shower. I knew it. <laughs> Singing in a shower. That's for sure turns me on. That's for sure. <laughs> what turns you off? Not being in my shower. <laughs> Singing what? with my microphone. What? No, I'm joking. <laughs> what turns me on? I mean, um... No, what turns you uh, off? No, he's answering um, the other part. What oh. turns me off? Not being able to sing in my micro well, not being able to have my sweetheart singing in my microphone. Uh-huh. <laughs> what sound Did you it need? Seriously. <laughs> you can't sing into your own microphone unless you're like double jointed or something. <laughs> my God, if, if if someone listens to me right now, not not on your radio station, I mean here at home. Oh, I guess I will have a little talk after. Oh. I tell you what, Randy, Randy saw our dog a few weeks ago. Our dog was singing into his own microphone, and Randy says, "Oh, I wish I could do that." And I says, "Yeah, you should check with the dog first. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess it's a good thing. You better ask the dog first because he might be bitten. <laughs> you know, it's kind of personal. Well, it's a personal thing. I mean, you cannot just get into the party and say, hey, hey, I'm here. You cannot. You have to knock on wood first. Hello, is there anybody there? And ask, may I come in? That's the nice word you should say. May I come in? You know, you see, you can hear that once in a while in the kind of Waco movie there. They, oh, 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 you know, may I come in? No, okay. Some, somebody would have you arrest. Uh, somebody would have you arrested in America as talking like that. Yeah, I know. That's what. That's why I'm just saying it on the phone. I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I hope I'm not uh, being rude to anyone. I mean, but I, I I never had that kind of idea though to, to take the place of the dog, you know, <laughs> licking the, the the microphone and stuff. I I stopped that at that point. What sound do you love? I, what song do I love? I love many songs. Uh, sound. I love Billy Joel. I love... Sound. Sound. Well, what sound do you love? What sound do I love? Uh, well, morning. What Is that a good answer? Morning? What, sure. What sound do you hate? Uh, drowning. What? Did you say drowning? <laughs> you know, when your wife grounds at you, I mean, that's the worst... The F U whatever letters that comes uh, uh, right after when your wife is drowning you. I mean, nah, 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 you know what I mean. That that I, that, that I that I'm trying to get rid of it as much as possible. Well, when it when it starts, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot something in the pickup. I'll, I'll be back. Give me an hour. Uh, that's something I hate. What is your favorite curse word? I can't say. Oh my God! Everybody is saying it. So what else should I say? You can say anything you want. A curse word. Oh, my curse word. Um, well, in my youth, I used to listen to a program. I think it's an American program. And they used to say, kiss my grits. Well, I guess that's the one. What profession other than yours would you like to attempt? Well, that's another one. Uh, well, I guess being a police officer wouldn't be bad. Um, besides being a stripper. 
Uh, <laughs> well, no, I guess a police officer would be cool. I don't know. It seems fun. What profession would you not like to do? Mm, being a pimp. A lot of money in that. What about you'd not like yeah, to no. sing into our dog's microphone? No, 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 no not really. <laughs> Two more questions. Number 10. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you get to the pearly gates? Um, well, uh, you want a fun answer or you want something like boring, like very, like oh, normal? Oh, give us a, give us a cool? fun one. Ah, uh, Okay. I was waiting for you guys. There's no party here. Come and bring us some crowded party and have fun and and get in the shower. Come on. (laughs) There you go. One more. If you woke up tomorrow with a vagina, you have this vagina for 24 hours, what are you going to do with it? My God, this is... I mean, you wouldn't have no microphone. Uh, I would... I, I would probably... Fuck it on my forehead and try to put as much things I can to remember for the rest of my life. <laughs> I would stick it all in. I would put the, 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 the whatever you just said that I can't say right in front of my forehead. And I would put everything in it as much as possible. Seriously, it would be freaky by me. Imagine how smart I could become. I'd be out trying to make all the damn money I could in 24 <laughs> if a, hours. If you had a pussy on your head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going like to say something like that, but I would have been rude. So I'm not, you know, I'm trying to, to avoid getting rude. So I'm saying if I say good things instead, let's say I look brilliant on your uh, on your show and I, I answer things that make sense, like I'll become smart, intelligent if I put brilliant thing in to my vagina in my on my forehead <laughs> didn't see that coming did you <laughs> i mean I, I would take them in i would take them out i would take them in i would take them out until <laughs> i really enjoy it i mean <laughs> <laughs> see now if you was really oh, smart you would you would go make some money off it you know you'd go stand on a street corner and um you know make some money off it you've only got 24 hours yeah. and then you turn into a dumbass again you know you talk, turn into a dumbass oh man. no Oh, no, I would have to leak my thing. No, 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 no. I'll stay. F- I guess uh, that's a good idea. 24 hours of that, put everything in that I can inside my brain. If there's still a one there after you took off the thing there, the punani thing there, I don't know what you call it. But uh, no, I think that would be a, a... You know what? You all have weird questions for me tonight, and it's kind of awkward because I wasn't prepared to answer... Horny answers and stuff like that. I'm not Rodney Carrington. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't have all the uh, the good answers like he does. So I'm, I won't have to take a, a rendezvous to my cycle, I guess. Mama's getting her boobs yeah, out again. <laughs> I really enjoyed uh, talking to you guys. Uh, you're crazy. I mean, uh, thank, wow. Thank you, Peter Miles. Imagine, awesome. it, no, imagine it. I mean, who, wherever you can believe, it could happen. Who else would have asked me, what would you do with a vagina in your <laughs> I mean, it makes no sense. I mean, wow. I, seriously, I love it. I hope your, uh, your, your crowd is, is in love with it because, you know what? I guess I, it will stay in my mind forever. It, it's the coolest interview I've ever had. Thanks a lot. Seriously, you are crazy and wild, and that's uh, what it takes uh, to, to, to make people happy because uh, these days uh, everything goes too quick, uh, everything's too fast, and uh, we don't take time enough to uh, appreciate what we have. And you guys are uh, are killing it. I mean, bravo, bravo. You're too kind. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. It's free. It's free and it's honest. It's sincere. Yes, that's it. It's honest. So, what have we got lined up, husband? More Peter Miles music. What Peter Miles tune do you have? Just pick one. I've got enough to fill up my whole sleeve over here. What about that one about <laughs> the devil? We did that one. Did we? The devil's back in town? We did yeah. that. Yeah. We got all she, these she really Peter Miles songs. Down. What well, about... Well, that devil really came down to my hometown, and you know what? It really, really made... It got everyone crazy in town, and sometimes you don't believe what the devil can make you do. So I hope you enjoy that song because this makes sense. For me, it makes sense. I hope it makes sense for other people. But sometimes, you know, the devil doesn't wear the the right suit, and it makes you believe that uh, they're uh, they're neat and sweet and whatever you can call it. But behind behind the suit, there, underneath the suit. It, it might it, it might be scary a lot, so that's that's like, the meaning of that song. Like a wolf in sheep's clothing. 
as they say. <laughs> if you if you like something that rocks a little bit more, you can put uh, the devils back in town. You can put if you like some something that has a really deep beat, you can put uh, uh, a bit too drunk for the one that the one that really likes to uh, drink Coca Cola. And uh, I guess you have a lot. You have plenty of choice and uh, uh, for any taste that I guess that people will enjoy. I hope uh, they they will take time to listen to it. Come and just ask your listeners to uh, come and chat or say whatever they feel. I'll be available on my website and uh, like I told you on Facebook and stuff like that. Just get on it and we'll have fun. We'll share and uh, I'm having some. Uh, New stuff coming up soon, so uh, if anyone has any ideas uh, besides the shower thing, uh, <laughs> I'll be happy to take uh, to take it and try to work on something for it. Okay, well, we well, are going to get on your boomerang tune. Okay, cool. Then I, I got to go back and find it. Wish you'd made up my mind sooner. There it is. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, thank you very much. It has been an absolute hoot. Uh, these guys in the chat room just adore you. Keith Sampson said the check is in the mail for the 45000 okay? <laughs> hey, I'm going to take a picture naked in my pickup now with my guitar and my microphone. And what do you think about that? And Patty Loveless. No, she, I don't think she will agree for that at all. <laughs> we'll have a talk with her. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll have a pursuit against me, uh, no, no, I don't think it's the right thing, but uh, I'll try to do something cool then instead. Yes, you must, you must. All right, then, let's get this tune yeah. on. Thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Mr. Miles. Appreciate it. Tons and tons. Well, all right. I'm sorry for the delay. It's like, a, it's awkward to have an interview when it's not straight <laughs> late for my part. And it's not because of you. It's just I don't know what happens with the phone there. But uh, thanks uh, to all the listeners. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, you have a fantastic uh, show with uh, the Brit and the Yankee there. I guess uh, I guess they enjoy. We, we would like to have uh, that kind of type of radio station at home. But we don't. I guess it's only in Texas. And Texas uh, is blessed. So thanks a lot for inviting me. And I uh, uh, hope you guys uh, keep uh, doing the great. Just keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing it great. Uh, I really enjoy it. Thanks a lot for putting putting me on here. We are on the Internet, so you can listen to us anywhere, eh? Oh, yes, I will. Okay. I have music in my pickup. <laughs> and in the shower. <laughs> yes, and even more in the shower. I will I will bring you two guys, you you guys in my shower, and, and, and we'll enjoy a three. Hasta oh la vista, gosh. baby. <laughs> See you later. Take care. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Trains, trucks, and good old country music with the Yankee and the Brit on RTM Radio. Thank you. 